Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I use my iPad for digital note taking but first I just want to tell you that buying this iPad was literally the best investment I've ever made for school. Like it's just, it's amazing, okay? I don't use binders nor do I print out thousands of PowerPoint slides. I just slide this baby into my purse. It takes up no space. It's so efficient. I freaking love it. So there are a bunch of note taking apps that you can download but for me I decided to go with Microsoft OneNote for a couple reasons. Firstly, um, it comes free with Microsoft Suites, which like we all use, so that's great. I don't have to go out and buy a note-taking app. And if you watched my video on, um, <laughs> on nursing school supplies, you would have learned that I absolutely hate spending money on school. I will not spend more money than I need to, so by using OneNote, I didn't have to spend $10 on an app because this is basically free. And secondly, this iPad is the only Apple product that I own, so for me OneNote's great because it syncs up with all of my devices, meaning I can access my notes from pretty much anywhere. So I'll show you now how I take notes on my iPad. So when I open OneNote, you'll see here on the very left that I have only one notebook at the moment, Rania's notebook. You can have as many different books as you'd like, but since I use my iPad strictly for school, I only have that one book. So when I select Rania's notebook to open, you'll see that I've already got it divided up into sections for each semester. If I click here on first semester, you can see how I've got it further divided into smaller subsections, basically a tab for each course. And by selecting the course that I want, for example, Nursing 5110, you can see all of the different pages that I have listed underneath that tab. And for me, each page is a lecture for that course. So we'll go here into my lecture for weeks three and four. And you can see how I've loaded the teacher's PowerPoint slides into OneNote and written my own brief notes over top in red. So now that you've gotten a quick little glimpse into how I organize my notes, you can kind of see how OneNote would be used as like a digital binder because it lets you, it lets you um, organize your work by sections, subsections, tabs, all that stuff. So how do I upload my slides and annotate them? So first I download my teacher slides and then I convert the file into a PDF and then from there I load it into my Google Drive account and I move it into OneNote. But first you're going to want to make sure that you actually have a section to load your slides into. So for the sake of this video we're just going to create a new section here under third semester and we're going to do that by holding third semester down and at the bottom we're going to click add tab and then we'll just call it Rania on demand. Whoop, okay, Rania on demand. So now I'm going to go back into Google Drive and I'm going to find the lecture that I'm looking for. So this one's called week four and five lymphatic system. So I'm just going to click on the three dots at the bottom here. I'm going to select open in and then I'm going to select again OneNote. Now, before we hit send, you're going to want to make sure that you are setting it into the correct section in your notebook. So you're going to go to location, third semester, run it on demand, and then you're going to hit send. So back into OneNote here, you can see that our new page has been added. So we're just going to select this icon and hit print out. So that it opens the PDF and all the slides will now be visible in OneNote. Next, what I like to do is I like to go to view, hit paper style, and then I select the medium grid lines. This way I'm still able to take notes and my writing will be straight, otherwise if I'm writing it on a blank page I will just write on some weird slants. So basically we're now ready to annotate our notes. So at the top here we're going to select draw and then you can see that there's a section for pen and highlighter colors. You can change the colors and the thickness by just hitting the little arrow at the bottom here. You can see different colors, different thickness. If you want, you can even reorder your pens into whatever you prefer. And if you'd like to add another highlighter or another pen, just hit the plus button here. Now, I'm just going to go through here and find what I think is important, and then I'm going to highlight it. So. We'll just highlight these two headings because those look important to me at the moment. <laughs> and then what I like to do is when I'm taking additional notes, I like to write in red. That way I can easily identify the extra information 
later on when I'm going over my notes. So we'll just pretend that I'm writing here. The nice thing too is that if I don't like the placement of my writing, I can go to the left here, hit the lasso tool. I'll select what I've just written and I can resize it or I could even reposition it and put it somewhere better. So that's how I use my iPad for note taking. It's so simple. It's so efficient. I love it. I don't need to use paper anymore, which I think is a good thing. Um, if you, f I really hope you found this video useful. And if you did and you liked it, then please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see me put out more videos, then still please do give me a thumbs up, but also hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.